I want to talk you through the keto tour of Italy that I took. We all arrived in Rome and we got to explore the beautiful city. Every corner had something new to see. It was just, I, I can't even describe how beautiful Rome was. It was filled with people, but everyone was so happy to be there. Um, the first night we had a fantastic uh, dinner where they made special keto food for us, which was absolutely delicious. They crusted a piece of fish in um, zucchini. And then we had a private tour where we got to bypass this huge line into the Vatican. We had VIP passes. I felt almost extremely guilty just walking by these people that were waiting hours and hours and hours in line. Over 16,000 people visit the Vatican every single day. And we had this amazing guide who taught us so much about this beautiful basilica. Um, she showed us all of this beautiful art. It was just unreal. Beauty around every hey corner everybody. in this place. Hey everybody, Maria. It's uh, early on Sunday morning in Rome and I just wanted to uh, document my trip and show you how uh, I do this and travel keto. I always bring my running shoes and I love to see a city just running, running, running. Oh my gosh, I'm about to uh, check out the uh, Trevi uh, Fountain. I'm probably saying that wrong. And there's already a ton of people here. As you can see, there it is. There's no better way to start the day than to see a city on foot, running, running, running. Um, I'll take some photos, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna document the trip and uh, let you know how I do with keto. After my runs in the morning, I would often speak about keto to the whole entire group. Um, they had all their personal questions answered. It was super fun. And then we made our way down to Pompeii and discovered the beauty of this unfound city that was um, buried in ash and they're still finding new things and then we made our way down to capri um, juliana is our guide juliana was amazing she took us she treated us all like queens uh, capri is so beautiful the pictures just do not do it justice the water is so blue from the calcium in the water um, we had we got to go on a private tour to the tip top of the island where most people don't get to go and then I had my own shoes made handmade by this man um, that did them for um, Jackie Kennedy then we had a private boat tour of the sea caves where we went inside the sea caves where they it basically glue it was so beautiful And if you kiss underneath the arch, it was known to be that you would stay together forever. And then we went down to Sorrento, where we had a beautiful hotel um, in the center of the city. We made our way to Positano, where I had a private tour of the hotel that only you was filmed in. Only you was with Marissa Tomei. It's my favorite movie. And, um, the guide knew that so he knew the owner and I got to uh, go inside the hotel Hotels in Italy aren't like the American hotels where you can just go in and check them out So that was a pretty special um, little private tour We made our way down the Amalfi Coast um, We stopped in Amalfi Where there's like more beautiful little quaint towns everywhere. Music was everywhere playing in the town. I picked up some mascarpone and some special almonds to make a delicious little dessert um, for myself. Picked up some cute little uh, trinkets for everybody. I even swam in the ocean, which everybody thought I was crazy, but uh, it was really fun.
we made our way down to Ravello where we went to a villa and had a tour. This is actually where Oprah stays. There's a hotel here too. And I saw this Villa Maria hotel and restaurant which was absolutely gorgeous. Villa Maria. Check out this view. I think that if I own a restaurant, this is the one I'm gonna buy. Like the this? view was probably the most beautiful view at a restaurant I've ever been at. We went to a farm where we learned how to make fresh mozzarella, homemade ricotta. He made this amazing dinner. Everything came from the farm. Um, he made eggplant parmesan, the keto style. He said, I don't know what keto is, but I was told to make everything that you guys want with no carbs, so here you go. It was fantastic. The castle that we stayed at made special meals for us. This was the view of our buffet breakfast. I mean, the keto food was delicious, so flavorful. flavorful. They made uh, pasta with zucchini noodles for us. Um, it was really cool that um, Juliana made sure that the keto food was there for us. It was delicious. Um, I couldn't have... At the farm where he showed us how to make homemade mozzarella, um, it was actually really quite simple. We could all do it. Um, but. It was just neat to see. He said it only lasts one day. You need to um, make it and eat it within one day. And then he made the um, fresh ricotta from the, the liquid that was left over from the mozzarella, which was really cool and delicious. I mean, it was so amazing. The lemons were outrageously huge. Some of them were. Um, he, the farm had lemon trees where the chickens grazed underneath. They had cows that were just so sweet they would suck my fingers like a little baby. They had almond and walnut trees that we got to eat fresh from the trees. It was the most beautiful farm I've ever seen. It looked over the coast. And then when we stayed at the castle, Bruno here made me a bacon cheeseburger that was, uh, well, uh, I was so in love with because I was craving that. We went to a winery that made their own olive oil and things, so you didn't have to drink the wine. And then in Tuscany, we went to um, the Basilica, and it was just beautiful. Music was playing all around the Basilica. So much art in that town fresh leather everywhere if you want a leather bag. The church was beautiful. It had um, the awesome bridge that's really famous in Tuscany here. Lots of art everywhere. And then the last night we stayed in a castle back in Rome. Um, I just was surprised. Juliana surprised us all with this castle stay with a fantastic dinner. Um, it had a pool where I lounged and swam at. It was just amazing. Um, I hope you can join us next year in April 2019.